Hi everyone. I got a very interesting thing called unit v2 from m5 stack in my hand. Among all the boards that I tested, uh, this one is the first uh, that the creators sent me for free. And I'm very happy about this. Um, on my channel, you can see a lot of comparison of various uh, computer vision inference board. Uh, but this particular video will be more like an overview. And why not is not a comparison, I will tell you a bit later. So let's start. First and most interesting, it's not so much the board as it's the smart camera. And uh, this trend is going to grow in the coming year, in my opinion. Uh, you can see that the Google Coral uh, is aiming for this segment with the new boards. And of course, OAK camera, it's pretty close to this, but from different perspective. Uh, but in unit V2, uh, I met exactly what I was actively discussing a year ago with many people. Uh, and it's, it's a camera that just streams the sets of JSON with information that's provided by neural networks. And it's pretty important. Uh, because uh, such streaming uh, can reduce the amount of information, of course, and uh, you can work with such stream with pretty uh, slow and pretty unusual devices. Uh, in general, such streaming is pretty popular. Uh, for example, we sometimes even use this in our robots. And as you understand, uh, <coughs> this is uh, enough for many applications. For example, you can stream facial detection from your doorbell or uh, stream car, uh, camera with cars that enter to your garage to open your garage when you can or will came or a uh, smart water cannon to uh, shoot birds and cats uh, on your uh, uh, your yard uh, or do something more complex. For example, you could uh, do bird feeder recognizing uh, on such logic uh, as I did in 2016-2017 uh, with first Raspberry Pi. Uh, but with such thing, it's just a few lines of code. Uh, and that's exactly the interface this camera have. Uh, strangely, but uh, I didn't see any camera like this before. Uh, but I even discussed uh, a year ago this concept. And uh, it's super cool that uh, someone creates this. Uh, and uh, let's talk about uh, some different uh, struck uh, some different perk of this camera. Uh, the camera has uh, several interfaces, uh, Wi-Fi, so you just can connect it to power it and it will connect to your uh, home Wi-Fi system. It's uh, UART and uh, it's pretty important. For example, you can um, stream the recognition on some uh, Arduino that will open your garage or, or the door. And of course uh, USB because uh, uh, it have uh, power through the USB. Uh, <coughs> in uh, addition to the camera itself, uh, there is a microphone inside 
uh, and uh, my version uh, has a fixed camera but uh, there is a custom one with uh, M12 uh, lens on it. Uh, there are several good points uh, with uh, construction of this camera. First one, uh, it's uh, have internal fan uh, that dissipates the heat pretty efficiently, and uh, there is uh, a pretty interesting mounting system uh, that's very easy but effective. Uh, let's dive inside. Uh, I <clears throat> haven't seen such feature on any embedded platform, but you can run internal Jupyter notebook in this camera to debug this hardware. Mind-blowing, uh, because usually you need to run such uh, Jupyter notebook yourself through the SSH, and uh, for some newbies is it's pretty hard. Of, of course, it's not very hard if you are pretty uh, used to some embedded uh, development, but for um, the guys who took this camera first time, it's I think it's very interesting. Uh, and uh, if we talk about the impression in general, I haven't met a platform that at first glance may much can make such pleasant impression. But of course there is very very big but. Uh, and this will be enough for 95% of project uh, if it weren't one critical thing. And the critical thing uh, that uh, it's the same problem why I couldn't test and compare uh, this uh, board with other board from my collection. It's uh, very difficult to run a custom neural network on unit v2. So it's basically few pre-trained neural network in it. And <coughs> to run your neural network there are just two official ways. Uh, the first one is uh, use training environment from M5 stack. It's uh, the training uh, uh, system, but uh, there are problems with it. It's very simple if you pretty cool in machine learning. Uh, you can train only one neural network, and um, there are no tools which allow you to train your neural network properly. Uh, no <coughs> support of data sets, no um, training analysis, no graphs. Uh, you need to label your data set by hands and so on and so on and so on. Uh, so it's uh, if you are very new, probably it's okay, but if you know how machine learning uh, work, it's pretty sad. Uh, and the second official approach is through <coughs> compiling the whole system uh, with um, C++ cross-compiling. And uh, for me, it's pretty unusual approach. Uh, so I'm mm, not pretty cool in this and I didn't try it. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of, uh, the documentation is uh, pretty small and uh, you can't run this on Windows, for example. Uh, and uh, I didn't even try this because in my opinion, it, I will spend a lot of time to uh, run this approach and I'm not sure that uh, it will allow me to run any neural network. So um, there are 
So, but there are several third-party methods. Uh, the first one is to uh, use edge impulse. Uh, edge impulse uh, uh, can be used to create a pre-built uh, neural network, C++ neural network library that uh, will allow you to connect to the camera and because uh, uh, Unit V2 doesn't have um, NP, some hard NPU it, and it's just have CPU, uh, it's allow you to run your uh, uh, neural network from edge impulse pretty easily. But of course, in my opinion, the edge impulse it's not an uh, excellent solution. Of course, it's much better than platform from um, M5 stack, but uh, it I prefer to use uh, uh, some custom made uh, training procedures for my neural network and so on. Uh, because of that, I didn't uh, like this approach, uh, but but it's it will allow you to put some hard neural network there. Uh, and uh, the second approach. Uh, you can train the official detection neural network uh, from here uh, through the uh, mm, PyTorch and try to and after that you can try export this PyTorch a neural network uh, there but uh, mm, they have some changes in this neural network and I am not 100% sure that it will run on uh, unit v2. And uh, the standard approach that I usually use on different devices uh, do not work here. Uh, it's not possible install like NCNN PyTorch binding or OpenCV uh, under Python. You can't uh, build directly on this board. You need to cross compile in your code and so on. Okay, let's summarize everything. Unit v2 is a very cool platform if you are not from machine learning and if you are not from um, uh, board development. Uh, for example, you like to do hobby project. Uh, it will work very cool for some uh, robotic courses for uh, children. Uh, it will work super cool if uh, you just create in some simple s system to you country home and uh, you don't want to understand how the electronics work because you just put your Arduino there and you put the sync into your PC and everything start working. Uh, the, there are only two disadvantages. Uh, one uh, that this construction is not waterproofed and the second one uh, you need to think how you will uh, put uh, the power there uh, because you need either to run a pretty long USB cable or to create your own um, battery that will be mounted there. But uh, in many cases, it doesn't matter. And uh, but if you come from the world of machine learning, as I did, uh, the platform is uh, the platform will be too easy for you. Uh, it's quite slow, and uh, there is uh, uh, and there is pretty hard to put your neural network there. Uh, and uh, if we are speaking about the speed of this platform, uh, hopefully I will release, release another video when the author will uh, mm, release the tools uh, uh, and the documentation to this platform. Uh, they want to do this in a few months and I hope after that uh, 
uh, I can put some custom neural networks there and it will be pretty fast. But in my opinion, the main target for this platform is a uh, hobby project. But you need to look at this platform uh, from perspective how every AI camera will look like in like five years because uh, it's the first very cool demo how it should work. Thank you for watching. I hope this video will help you. Bye.